Warp drive technology would change the world forever, but not in ways you might expect. For example, we would travel to multiple star systems. Warp drive technology would revolutionize interstellar travel by creating a bubble of warped spacetime around a spacecraft, allowing it to traverse vast cosmic distances in remarkably short periods. Unlike conventional propulsion systems, warp drives would circumvent the universal speed limit by contracting space in front of the vessel while expanding it behind, effectively surfing through spacetime rather than moving through it traditionally. This would enable ships to reach nearby star systems in days or weeks rather than the thousands of years required by conventional propulsion. The journey to other star systems would begin in specialized spaceports constructed in Earth's orbit or on the Moon, where massive energy generators would power up the warp field systems. Passengers would board ships designed specifically for warp travel, featuring artificial gravity systems and sophisticated radiation shielding to protect against the intense energies involved in warp field generation. These vessels would likely be constructed in a disk or spherical shape to maintain the integrity of the warp bubble during transit. During the journey, passengers would experience normal time within the warp bubble, while space outside would appear distorted due to the manipulation of space-time. Stars ahead would appear to blue shift and compress together, while those behind would red shift and spread apart. The ship's navigation systems would constantly adjust the warp field to avoid collisions with interstellar matter, as even tiny particles could cause catastrophic damage at faster than light speeds. The approach to destination star systems would require careful deceleration protocols, gradually reducing the warp field strength to prevent gravitational shock waves that could damage both the ship and the target solar system. Ships would emerge from warp several astronomical units away from their destination, using conventional propulsion for final approach maneuvers. Advanced sensor systems would scan for safe travel corridors, avoiding dangerous radiation zones, gravitational disturbances, and debris fields. Regular passenger services would establish well-mapped routes between star systems similar to modern air travel corridors. These routes would be constantly monitored for hazards and optimized for maximum efficiency. Automated beacons placed along these routes would provide real-time navigation data and emergency support if needed. The combination of safety systems, advanced navigation, and carefully planned routes would make interstellar travel as routine as international flights are today, opening up the galaxy for human exploration and colonization. Number two, we would build colonies on Proxima Centauri B and beyond. The colonization of exoplanets would begin with Proxima Centauri B, our closest potentially habitable neighbor, just 4.2 light years away. Initial robotic missions would deploy automated terraforming systems, releasing specialized bacteria and engineered organisms designed to begin transforming the planet's atmosphere. These biological engineers would work for decades, gradually increasing oxygen levels and establishing the foundations of a breathable atmosphere, while massive orbital mirrors would help regulate the planet's temperature, despite its tight orbit around its red dwarf star. The first human settlements on Proxima Centauri b would be established in carefully selected locations, protected by powerful magnetic shields to defend against the star's intense radiation. These colonies would start underground, expanding into massive cave systems that provide natural protection from surface conditions. As terraforming progresses, surface domes would be constructed, creating controlled environments where Earth-like ecosystems could be established. Advanced materials developed through warp drive research would allow these structures to withstand extreme conditions while remaining transparent to allow natural light. Colonization efforts would expand to other promising worlds like the planets orbiting Tau Ceti, Ross 128, and the Trappist-1 system. Each colony would develop its unique character based on its environment and the challenges it faces. Some would specialize in underground cities illuminated by artificial suns. Others would create floating settlements in the atmospheres of gas giants, while still others would establish vast orbital habitats around stars, too hostile for planetary colonization. The adaptation of humans to these new environments would lead to fascinating evolutionary changes, 
Colonists living on high-gravity worlds would develop denser bone structures and more efficient cardiovascular systems, while those in low-gravity environments might become taller and more slender. Genetic engineering would accelerate these adaptations, helping humans thrive in their new homes while maintaining the ability to travel between worlds. The most successful colonies would achieve self-sufficiency within a few generations, developing their own industries, agriculture, and unique cultural identities. They would establish trade relationships with Earth and other colonies, exchanging resources, technology, and cultural innovations. This network of human settlements would create a resilient civilization spanning multiple star systems, ensuring humanity's survival even if disaster struck any single world. The diversity of colonial environments would drive rapid technological and social evolution as each community develops novel solutions to their unique challenges. Number three, we could contact multiple alien species. With warp drive technology enabling exploration of countless star systems, humanity would inevitably encounter alien civilizations at different stages of development. Some species would be discovered in their pre-industrial phases, living in societies similar to Earth's ancient civilizations. These encounters would require careful protocols to prevent cultural contamination, with human observation posts carefully hidden in orbit or on moons. Studying these emerging species while debating the ethics of contact and intervention. More advanced civilizations, perhaps at technological levels similar to humanity's 21st century, would present unique diplomatic challenges. Initial contact would likely occur when they detect our warp signatures, or when we identify their radio transmissions. These meetings would lead to fascinating cultural and technological exchanges though careful measures would be needed to prevent the sharing of warp technology with species who might not be ready for such advancement. Some of these civilizations might become valuable trading partners, offering unique technologies or cultural perspectives developed along different evolutionary paths. The most profound encounters would be with species far more advanced than humanity, some possibly millions of years ahead in their development. These civilizations might have already established vast networks of colonies or even moved beyond physical bodies entirely, existing as energy beings or within massive computational systems. Their technology would appear almost magical by human standards, manipulating dimensions and energies we barely understand. These advanced species might become mentors to humanity, sharing knowledge and helping us avoid catastrophic mistakes in our development. However, not all encounters would be peaceful. Some species might view expanding human colonies as a threat, leading to tense diplomatic situations or even conflict. Others might be so alien in their thinking and evolution that meaningful communication proves nearly impossible, requiring the development of new approaches to interspecies relations. The diversity of alien life would range from silicon-based beings to creatures living in seemingly impossible conditions each presenting unique challenges for human diplomats and scientists. The establishment of an interstellar community would fundamentally transform human society. Organizations similar to the United Nations would emerge on a galactic scale, creating forums for different species to address common challenges and share discoveries. This cosmic community would lead to unprecedented advances as different species combine their knowledge and perspectives though it would also require humans to accept their place as just one of many intelligent species in a vast and diverse galaxy. Number four, we would have a new space economy. Warp drive technology would catalyze an unprecedented economic boom across multiple star systems, creating entirely new industries and markets. Interstellar mining operations would become highly profitable, with companies extracting rare elements from distant asteroid belts and planetary systems. Some corporations would specialize in harvesting exotic materials only found in extreme environments, such as neutron star fragments or gas giant atmospheres, leading to the development of revolutionary new technologies and materials. Space tourism would evolve into a massive industry with luxury cruise ships offering tours to spectacular cosmic destinations. Wealthy travelers could watch binary star systems up close, visit planets with rings more magnificent than Saturn's, or observe stellar phenomena from safe distances. 
holiday resorts would be established on terraformed exoplanets, offering experiences impossible on Earth, such as low-gravity sports or adventures under alien skies. Some destinations would become famous for their unique attractions, like surfing on planets with liquid methane oceans or skydiving through the clouds of gas giants. The transportation sector would undergo a complete transformation, with competing warp drive companies establishing regular routes between populated systems. Similar to modern airlines, these space carriers would offer different service levels, from economy pods for colonists and workers to luxury accommodations for business travelers and tourists. Specialized shipping companies would handle cargo transport, moving raw materials, manufactured goods and agricultural products between colonial worlds and Earth. A new financial system would emerge to handle interstellar commerce using quantum encrypted digital currencies that could instantly synchronize across vast distances. Banking centers would be established at major spaceports, managing the complex exchange rates between Earth's currencies and those of various colonies. Insurance companies would develop new products to cover the unique risks of interstellar travel and commerce, while investment firms would specialize in funding colonial development projects and space mining operations. The energy industry would see massive growth as new methods of power generation and storage were developed to support warp drive technology. Companies would compete to establish power collection systems around stars, capture antimatter from natural sources, and develop more efficient energy distribution networks between systems. The economy would also benefit from the commercialization of spin-off technologies, with businesses adapting warp field principles for everything from waste management to manufacturing. This new space economy would create unprecedented opportunities for wealth creation and job growth, fundamentally changing humanity's economic landscape. Number 5. We would experience massive technological progress. The development of warp drive technology would trigger an unprecedented wave of technological advancement across all sectors of human civilization. The extreme energy requirements of warp drives would lead to breakthroughs in antimatter production and containment, making it possible to generate and store vast amounts of energy efficiently. This would revolutionize Earth's power grid, leading to the development of compact fusion reactors and quantum energy cells that could power entire cities with devices no larger than a car. The materials science breakthroughs needed for warp drive construction would transform manufacturing and construction. New metamaterials capable of withstanding the intense stresses of warp fields would find applications in everything from buildings to consumer electronics. Engineers would develop self-repairing materials that could heal damage automatically, while quantum-engineered substances would enable the creation of virtually indestructible structures and machinery. Medical technology would advance dramatically thanks to the understanding of space-time manipulation required for warp drives. Doctors would develop methods to manipulate the aging process at a cellular level, potentially extending human lifespans significantly. Surgical techniques would evolve to include localized time dilation fields, giving surgeons extra time to perform complex procedures while only seconds pass for the patient. Nanomedicine would become commonplace with microscopic robots programmed to repair damage at the molecular level. Transportation on Earth would be transformed by miniaturized versions of warp technology, while full faster-than-light travel would require massive energy expenditure. Scaled-down versions would allow for near-instantaneous travel between any points on Earth through localized space-time manipulation. Personal transportation devices would eliminate the need for traditional vehicles, while cargo delivery systems would use micro-warp fields to transport goods anywhere on the planet in seconds. The combination of these technologies would reshape human society, creating a world where distance and energy scarcity no longer limit human achievement and innovation. Number 6. Faster-than-light weapon systems could be developed. Military engineers would develop devastating weapons that harness the power of warp technology, creating warp torpedoes capable of appearing instantaneously at their targets. These weapons would combine antimatter warheads with miniaturized warp fields, allowing them to bypass traditional defenses 
and materialize directly inside enemy vessels. The sheer destructive potential would be amplified by the torpedo's ability to trigger multiple detonations across different points in space-time simultaneously. Advanced weapon systems would manipulate the destructive energy of collapsing warp fields themselves. By generating controlled warp bubble collapses near targets, these weapons would create devastating ripples through space-time that could tear apart enemy ships at the molecular level. Some weapons would be designed to create quantum singularities inside target vessels, effectively crushing them from within. The most terrifying weapons would be planet killers that could teleport massive antimatter charges directly into a planet's core, or create cascading warp field collapses that could destabilize entire solar systems. Special forces would employ tactical warp weapons that could teleport smaller explosive devices or even hostile nanobots directly into enemy ships, bases, or planetary facilities. Likewise, spacecraft equipped with micro-warp drives would be developed for precision attacks, capable of appearing inside enemy defense perimeters without warning. These vessels would combine stealth technology with the ability to execute split-second warp jumps, making them nearly impossible to target effectively. Defensive countermeasures would evolve to include detection systems for incoming warp signatures and emergency warp field generators that could attempt to deflect or redirect incoming attacks. However, the near-instantaneous nature of warp weapons would make traditional defense systems largely obsolete, leading to a focus on preventive strikes and deterrence rather than active protection. This new paradigm would fundamentally change military doctrine, emphasizing the ability to strike first and strike decisively, as defensive capabilities would struggle to keep pace with offensive technologies. Number 7. We would need to reimagine our perception of time. The advent of warp drive technology would force humanity to completely reimagine its relationship with time. When ships can traverse light years in hours or days instead of centuries, traditional concepts of time zones and daily schedules would become obsolete across interstellar colonies. A person could have breakfast on Earth, attend a business lunch on a colony orbiting Alpha Centauri, and return home for dinner, experiencing multiple days within what their body perceives as a single day. The complexities of faster-than-light travel would require a complete overhaul of how we measure and synchronize time across space. A new standardized interstellar time would need to be established, possibly based on atomic oscillations rather than planetary rotations or orbits. Colonists would need to adapt to time dilation effects and the unsettling reality that time could flow differently depending on their travel speed and trajectory through space. Communication between colonies would create unique temporal challenges. When messages can arrive before they're sent according to local time, new protocols would be needed to prevent temporal paradoxes and maintain causality in business and personal interactions. Families spread across different star systems would experience time at different rates, leading to new social dynamics where age differences between siblings or relatives could shift unpredictably. The human mind would need to adapt to thinking in terms of both local and interstellar time simultaneously. Calendar systems would become more complex, accounting for multiple time streams and relativistic effects. Social events and business meetings would be scheduled using sophisticated algorithms that calculate optimal meeting times across different colonial time zones and travel durations. This new temporal awareness would fundamentally change how humans perceive their place in the universe and their relationship with time itself. Thanks for watching. Make sure to watch this next video about future technologies.